And uh, how about a round of applause for Bobby for uh, helping play? <laughs> Probably the uh, best landlord I ever had. We, uh, the last house Adam and I were living at before we moved into Balmoral, we were asked to leave because we loved to play records and make music, and that was the very reason Paul welcomed us into his house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was kind of nice. Since I moved in there, uh, the stories of his wood piles are legendary. And, uh, and since he's gone, uh, there's been a project to try and clear up the property a little bit. Uh, and uh, I recently, I've got this friend that just bought property on Penner. And so I, I said, hey, we've got all this, this stash of wood. Why don't you come by? And uh, so I helped him with the unloading. And we noticed this wood is ancient wood. And there's like, there are three generations of nail types still stuck in the wood. You know, there's old nails that are squared that narrow down at the end, but they're square. They look like they were carved by hand or something like that. Um, incredible stuff. And the really nice thing about it for me is that someday I'm going to get to go to Pender Island and, and, and just keep going. You know, his influence will be there. Awesome. This was uh, never a time where I was hanging out with Paul talking about music or walking around the garden that he didn't teach me something or I learned something from him. He was definitely a teacher. And uh, yeah, we look forward to having the opportunity. I think we're really lucky to get involved with his housing and to be able to encourage and uh, promote what he did. We really want to keep his spirit moving forward. And uh, if you ask Connie, quite literally, my door is usually open. So if anyone ever wants to come and hang out or walk around the garden, we still have Paul seeds growing there, so it's always welcome. Um, I'm gonna play a tune for Paul, it's a tune I wrote called Live Every Day Like It's Your Last. Don't be sad, but you still feel bad.
It was a gas and he was a blast. 